New home security video shows multiple angles of the FBI's pre-dawn raid on the home of political consultant Roger Stone. Unarmed, 66 years old, without a passport, barefoot. Until now, the only public footage of the raid came from CNN, which somehow knew to arrive one hour before the FBI got there. Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker was asked about the CNN footage in his testimony before Congress today. Here's part of it. Are you familiar from public reports or otherwise that a CNN reporter was camped out outside of Stone's house when the FBI arrested him? Thank you. Um, this wouldn't be part of the investigation. I, I, am, I am aware of that, and it was, it was deep, deeply concerning to me as to how CNN um, found out about that. I share your concern uh, with the possibility that a media outlet was tipped off to Mr. Stone's either indictment or arrest before it was made, that information was available to the public. The new footage from Stone's home shows CNN arriving about an hour before agents did. The footage depicts what you'd expect if the FBI raided the home of the Mexican drug lord, maybe even SEAL Team 6 going into Bin Laden's compound. For context, Roger Stone is a senior citizen accused of false statements to Congress. Take a look at what happened. It's just before 5 a.m. and an SUV with a CNN cameraman arrives first to this quiet street in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Within minutes, the driver gets out and begins to set up his tripod. So far, no sign that anything's about to happen. But the cameraman gets back in his car with his equipment to wait. Almost exactly one hour later, trucks with heavily armed men arrive in front of Roger Stone's house. Immediately, CNN's cameraman jumps out of the car, camera on shoulder, capturing the footage. The feds assemble on Stone's driveway. They're wearing ballistic armor and carrying assault weapons with 30 round magazines, red dot sights and tactical flashlights mounted to their barrel shrouds. One has his gun hanging by a strap while he carries a battering ram in his left hand. All of the men have sidearms holstered on their waists. A second camera mounted on Stone's front door shows another angle of the raid. A heavily armed FBI agent approaches the door with his gun drawn, while others stake out positions behind. It looks like a high stakes raid, but CNN's cameraman is still 40 feet away filming it all. One agent swings his firearm around as he scans and surveys Stone's front porch. Behind the home, a third camera captures agents approaching the back of the house from the side yard. Behind the property, a boat arrives with at least two agents on board. They shine a floodlight into Stone's home. Back in front, an agent pounds on Stone's door, finger next to the trigger in case something goes wrong. He tries again as he and his colleagues wait in position. Within minutes, Stone exits his home to greet the agents who have their rifles pointed at him. Stone raises his hands and spins around, apparently trying to show that he is unarmed. Another FBI agent approaches Stone from behind and cuffs him. It's just after six o'clock in the morning. It's still dark out. 20 minutes later, the same camera shows agents leading Roger Stone back into his house. He is barefoot. Stone is wearing a t-shirt that says, Roger Stone did nothing wrong. The FBI and their water carriers and corporate media tell us totally commonplace by the book happens all the time no it doesn't we'll be back